five, four, three, two, one. Tetris. Joseph versus Jonas. And immediate there, right there, you see a little bit different building style and already an early burn <laughs> for Joseph, but, and shaking his head on the first line, you know, he's just like, man, I don't have 100% Tetris right now. But you know what? They're both set up right here. So boom, Tetris, Jones, for, Tetris Jonas. for Jonas. Early lead, but Jonas, Joseph firing right back. Yep. Trying to build up right now. A very clean stack right now for Joseph. Jonas with a little bit of an un unorthodox setup right now. Going to have to do a little bit of burn. Used to seeing from him. Oh, yeah. He Ooh, has to make an awkward adjustment thanks to that O block. That O block really kind of that threw a wrench. he can't handle, but Joseph is able to fire the next Tetris off for mm -hmm. first. He's ready for another one. Oh, man. Oh. Just the wrong timing right there. Single. But look at that. Boom. Tetris for Joseph. And then, boom, Tetris for Jonas right after that. Mm. Beautiful last second adjustment Boom, right there for, Jonas. for Joseph. And now Joseph right now with a beautiful playing field and Jonas right right behind there. But, you know, on the left side right there, just a little bit of uh, awkwardness. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Looking for a T-spin for Joseph. Boom, T-spin for Joseph. No points there, but it looks cool. Where's the garbage? Nice he didn't send any garbage to Jonas. <laughs> All right. And now both of them Tetris ready, waiting for that long piece. Just waiting for In that the long drought. piece. And there it is. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. And boom, Tetris for Joseph, right? All right, both of them still Tetris ready. Nice tuck right there for Jonas. A lot of stylish, stylish moves from Joseph happening. You know, little tucks and little L, L spins. Oh, he needs the L. And there it Bring is, the L just in time for Jonas. And now he's going to be able to keep that right well clear right now. Look at this 28, 29 drought right now. Yeah. So a little bit of cleaning up with where from is Joseph. that long bar? 35, 36. 36. There oh, it is. No. oh, he, he covered, it covered it up. But Jonas <laughs> didn't. Boom, Tetris or Jonas. And now he catches up. We are neck and neck. Yep. But, oh, okay. And okay, then, he's okay. Right, he's okay boom, there. Boom, Tetris or Joseph. And boom, Tetris or Jonas. We're neck and neck again. This is going to be a back and forth. And uh, you know, like we saw in the other games, Jonas uh, and Green Tea played their games out to the kill screen. Mm -hmm. But Joseph, to Joseph, it's not even a kill screen. <laughs> so what That's are right. we going to see, people, here? All right. And now Jonas with a little bit of a cleanup situation here. He just needs that J piece right now. Actually, he'll be OK. He got a couple of I pieces that are going to help clear and him out. Boom, Petrus for Joseph. In the lead now. And again, winding wow. the lead to 60,000 points. Nice Jonas double stack tuck. Is nice. nice double Boom, tuck from Jonas over there. And that eyepiece is going to set him up for another Tetris. Both players are in really great shape right now. Mm, a lot of those uh, S Boom. pieces for Jonas causing him a little bit of problem. All right, so he needs a burn on the side. And yes, still four rows there Boom, available. Tetris for Jonas. And got Joseph's the Tetris. Got, still, still got a slight lead on Joseph's side. He's ready for a Tetris again. Yeah, but only a one Tetris lead. But actually, since he has the setup a little bit more than that, but he's had to burn a little bit because guess what? We had another drought. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. So Jonas playing a little behind right now. He's a little behind. Boom, uh, Tetris for Jonas. And boom, Tetris for Joseph. It's kind of an awkward build for jo Jonas here. So we're used to seeing. Happy with the pieces that he was getting just now. Boom, Boom Tetris, Tetris for, for Joseph. Joseph. Joseph feels, when I watch him play now, he, it seems like he's gained some confidence, like even in the last couple of games. I can actually feel, feel him feeling it a little more this time. Oh, look at that perfect timing for that eyepiece right there for a center well. Yeah, nice center Tetris. well there by Jonas. All right. And his play field's gotten, finally gotten fixed up, so. Yeah, but he's got to see if he, see if he drops a T. Yeah, and he has the S piece to set himself up for a Tetris. Beautiful stuff right there. He's just looking for the J, and he got it. Boom, and Tetris now. for Joseph. Nice tuck by Jonas. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Joseph still maintaining a lead by one Tetris only now. Oh, and a beautiful L right there for Joseph, just in time for his Tetris. Both of them with a really good Tetris rate. We're on way for a max out. OK, 
Okay, trying to set up a tuck. There it is. Beautiful stuff. Keeping his play field clean oh, yeah, is for Joseph. He's just going to burn it down. Yeah, jo Jonas definitely trying to keep his play field clean right now. He's looking for a T or a, a Z, and neither of them are showing up. He's going to be digging that one for a while. Yeah. So there we go. He had to build so much on the right side that he covered that right well Tetris slot. So he's going to have to be doing it. But you know what? The I and the O, perfect timing. Yep. Another yep. O. Wow, yeah. great stuff. All right, it's set up his back. And Joseph has some clean digging to do. He transitions a little awkwardly, but I don't think it's something he can't handle. Well, he does have an unfortunate situation right here. He should be able to clean out, especially yeah. with that O there piece. There it goes. Nice. Oh man! Barely getting oh it. Oh my Both god! Tetris for Jonas. Barely getting that eyepiece in a good place. Wow. It's amazing the kind of clutch piece manipulation that we're seeing from Joseph right now. And as we traverse beyond level 19, this is where not relying on Das and doing the hyper tapping is going to let him do some amazing things. Right. Let's see where he goes with this, guys. Boom, oh, Jonas. Jonas has to set up a tuck and he, he gets nice, it right in there. Highly skilled tuck there at high speed. Very dangerous. He gets it. Joseph with another Tetris. Now nice. with a wide lead of 70,000 points, it's going to take four Tetrises to, for Jonas to catch up at this point. Yeah, Jonas has had to do a couple of uh, unfortunate burns, but he'll be okay. Is he actually going to go for center well? He does have it set up. Now he just needs that eyepiece. Okay, uh, awkward placement of that piece, but again. But yeah, jo Joseph is up 100,000 points. You don't really see Jonas like this far behind at this stage in the game. This is new territory here. Right. He's cleaning up. Oh, nice. Got the eyepiece all the way over there. And he's going to go for the triple right there. Trying to save it for... Actually, if he can, no. Okay, he's not even going to go try to go for a center well. Too risky. Yeah, Joseph playing a little more conservative lead, which with his lead probably is a way to go. Uh, Jonas is also... Having to burn something, he's gonna go for a center well there. There oh, it is. There it boom! Is. Tetris for Jonas. But a boom Tetris for Joseph as well, and he's still up. Maintaining the lead. Yeah, by Just enough aggression 000. to keep it up. 57% Tetris rate for him, but Jonas oh, at a Tetris 50%. Jonas. Je Jonas not far behind, despite all of that cleaning up that he had to do. Mm -hmm. It's still anybody's game. There's only four levels left, though, so that's where it's gonna. Maximizing these last few Tetrises here is gonna. What, what's gonna make the difference? Jonas oh, is in trouble. Oh, no! Oh. And Jonas! Going down, game number one. There it is, Joseph what with the lead. Job. Wow. And a huge exhale there from Joseph. So you see right there the kind of pressure that Joseph's game puts on Jonas. You know, normally when Jonas is at that level, he has a lead or he's not right. that far Other behind. Other people are catching right. up to him. Mm -hmm. And usually when Jonas is behind, it's over the course of the entire game, not right at the end like this. Right. Man, can Doesn't we get hurt. an upset here? Can we get the 16-year-old kid to finally dethrone Jonas, who has won three in a row and seven total, only losing one year This could change Harry. everything. Yeah. Right. This is crazy. It's three out of five, though, folks. Right. So Joseph still has to win two more in order to win, and uh, that's a lot of time for Jonas to, to adapt adjust, and yeah. to adjust. Because, I mean, the question really comes down to if... Joseph wins this. Does that all of a sudden change it so that every player says, you know what, I gotta learn hyper tapping now. I gotta or learn hyper tapping. Some way to, as Jonas said, to mitigate the effects of right. being against someone that does hyper tap. And we're neck and neck here. Just 760 points difference right here. So what we have here is Joseph is really great at maneuvering pieces at high levels. Jonas is very consistent over a wide number of games. So I think that's going to be the factor. If it, mm -hmm. if Jonas is able to beat Joseph, it's going to be due to his consistency. Right. And if Joseph beats Jonas, it's going to be able to survive where Jonas cannot. Yeah, but I've already seen some effects right here. So normally Jonas plays pretty safely, but I've seen him go for a few more like aggressive. I see him play higher than he usually yeah, does. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. And not to, not only that, but he's more willing to wait for some of those, uh, like, you know, hoping that the IP shows up or hoping that the JP shows up. Right, maximizing every line, mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. near the end. Exactly. So he's had to burn one already right now. 
He's probably going to have to burn another on the side. Yep, there you go. Another drought, but he's going to get the Tetris right there. 90% Tetris rate, 66% for Joseph right now. So Jonas with a, a distinct lead, but it's very, very early. It's early on, right. It we just started. It can change so quickly. But Jonas right now, he has a beautiful playing field. Boom, Tetris for Jonas, and boom, Tetris for Joseph. 88% Tetris rate for Jonas. Yeah. It's going to be an amazing game it's here. It's going to go even Max higher out now. Pace here. 87. Remember. These players are going to push these, push each other with this. Yeah, he maxed out at to transition to level 28 during Qualls at like a 70 something percent Tetris rate. Joseph having to do some cleanup. Nothing okay, too major. going to need to set up a tuck on that T piece and then the I piece. Boom! Tetris for Jonas. Joseph opening up his well, waiting for the long piece, and he's gonna get one now too. Boom, Tetris for Jonas, and Tetris for Joseph right after. All right, not a, not a good time for that T piece right there. Is he gonna go for the Tetris? Yes, and now how's he gonna handle that ninth column right there? Yep, he's gonna go for a burn, and that set up the O piece beautifully. Okay. Jonas opting for triple, and then to a Tetris. And Tetris for Jonas as well. So once again, this is a very slow pace. Oh man. Oh, Jonas with a nice S spin there. Joseph. And Joseph not happy right now. He knows he's falling behind little by little right now, but he's gonna go for a row two Tetris now. He's just gonna build from here and uh, probably maintain this. I don't think he's gonna change this for now. He's probably, oh, no, okay. He's gonna oh, burn down up. a little bit, yeah. Burns a single. All right, so he's in position again, and you hate to see all those eye pieces when you don't need them right now. 84% Tetris rate for Jonas right now. Yeah, for a while it was that nine. Oh, oh, no, no. oh no, 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 That's a tough. Yeah. He's waiting for that long piece, like yep. to, to burn it down. Nice. Boom, okay. Tetris for Jonas. And with that throwing the head back right there, just like, right. oh, God. How do he was dumping his pieces in the middle, yeah. hoping for the long piece so that he could push it down and uh, make it safer. Yeah, he just goes, why do we always have to cut these? These seem so darn close. Yeah, that's highly dangerous. And now he's just looking for, uh, looking for the S piece, and the S piece isn't coming. Finally shows up for himself. And now and Joseph in a drought, waiting for the long piece. There it goes. Boom, touches to Joseph. So that waiting for that paid off. Yeah, so unfortunately, we saw that 84% Tetris right now. It is all vanishing little by little, but he's going to have a center well Tetris on column four, and there we go. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. And boom, Tetris for Joseph. Joseph is catching up. We are neck and neck again. Jonas had a commanding lead early on, but Joseph has caught up. Yeah, Jonas is not happy about that at all. Right, yeah. Joseph ready for a T-spin. Oh, he's going to go for a column T -spin. three Tetris. He's going for the column three Tetris. He's playing a high risk right now. Oh boy, he needs Ooh, the S, he, covered he got it up. the S. Okay, he opened it up again. Where's the long piece? Where is the long bar? Oh. There's the long bar, it's too early. Yeah, I need another one. Yeah, he's just gonna burn okay, he's right gonna now. Burn from the top. Yeah, so he's nice. gonna be okay. And he's gonna oh, get the Tetris right like now. This drop. He can still slide, oh, not anymore, not anymore. Okay, so he's just gonna have to find a way into that spot right there. And this is a room that Joseph needs to catch up. He's got a one and a half Tetris lead now. Yeah. And Jonas has a, it's got to do some digging. It's going ar archaeological, as he says. All right. But now I see a head shake from Joseph's side as well as he builds himself a little hole over there. Oh, my God, the hyper tapping just got that in there. He's holding out. Oh, that long but he's bar. getting bad pieces Ooh. for the for the burn over there oh, on the he side. Just, he held out. Boom. Tetris oh, my Joseph. God. Tetris for Jonas as well in the center well. And now he's going to be able to bolt, bolt through there. Joseph was playing pretty risky there, but he got out in the nick of time and then transition just happened and yeah, okay. and uh, he was able to get out of trouble just in time because that transition happened when he was any higher I don't know if even he could survive even with the hyper tapping all right and Jonas now. transition not the best setup but he can survive it yeah he's just looking for oh he actually got a good great draw. pieces right there good pieces. yeah and now he's actually ready for a Tetris right now can he slide that in yes and then boom, boom! Tetris or Jonas yeah Tetris Jonas not too far behind right now Surviving the archaeological dig. And now he's going to set himself up for another Tetris. Both players Tetris ready, Ooh, but... Up for ah! a double, doesn't hold out. Yeah. And Joseph put, pulling ahead even further now at 74,000 points. 
How often have we seen Jonas here at CTWC playing from behind at the after transition? Almost never. And usually when it happens, a lot of times he can play, still try to play a little calm and slowly, but he is... I feel like he's forced he's to play. Pushed. Yeah, he's being pushed. And when you think about it, you kind of have to, because a kill screen isn't quite a kill screen for Joseph. We've seen him, you know, make lines, moving pieces all the way to the left or right, mm -hmm. even when, you know, a player like Jonas wouldn't be able to. But Jonas yeah. is battling back now. A giant lead right now for Joseph, and he's still Tetris ready. Nice tuck Look at Jonas, that. high speed, boom, Tetris for Jonas. And Joseph, Joseph. Uh, his play field isn't as good as it was before. He'll have to do a little bit of digging. Nothing he can't handle, and he's back. Jonas is Tetris ready. Opting oh, for a triple. Burn right there. And now back to being Tetris ready. Finally. And there go up Tetris for both, both Jonas both, and. Yeah. Simul Tetris, tuck it in there. Yep. Tuck. Yeah, we're getting to about the level 25 point. And, and go up Tetris for jo Joseph. Jonas is pretty far behind now. It's 120,000 point deficit. Yeah, and he's also having to keep digging. He's always in a dig yeah, situation there's more burns. right Joseph's now. Joseph's play field is so clean right now. Wow. Another Tetris. He's at 62%. He's at max out pace. He could max out here for game number two in grand finals. Yes. Another Tetris. Boom. Boom. Tetris for Joseph. Jonas having to deal with that in the middle, but he burns it down with the Tetris. Oh, look at the that hyper tap right there. Boom. Tetris for Joseph. He's up by 167,000 points. Boom. Tetris for Jonas. Dirty Tetris. He's still in it, but there's only three levels left. But the thing is, Jonas knows that, I mean, Joseph knows that he could just play very safe right now. He doesn't need to do anything crazy risk right now. But he's still set oh, he up for a Tetris. He took the risk. Oh, Played boy. a little aggressive. Oh, see? This is what I mean. Ooh, he could have nice tried spin. to play a little bit safer, but not. Oh, this is a big. He's surviving. Ooh. No, okay. Didn't get the rotation in time. Nice. No. There, okay, so he's out, that's, but look. That's it, 9.15. But he's at Joseph. 28. He's at 28. He needs to get a Tetris. Kill screen is coming for Jonas, and he's ready for a Tetris. Let's see how this plays out. Where's it's the gonna long be bar? dramatic, no Where's matter the what. Long bar? There's no long he's bar! Gonna... The oh. long bar would not. There was a 25 piece drought at the end there to rob Jonas of game number two. Jonas now has Down to win games, three, three in, in a, a row, row to be able to maintain his streak to four years. No matter how this plays out, it is gonna be insane. Man. Oh my god, Joseph right now sitting here on the precipice of one of the greatest Cinderella stories here in eSports history. Up 2-0 over the final boss, seven-time world champion Jonas, a complete newcomer to the competition, 16 years old. Wow. And here we go. But if anybody can pull off the three in a row, Jonas has got it in him. So we'll see how this plays out. All right. A little bit of an awkward start right now for Jonas, but he gets his Tetris, boom. And a Tetris now for Joseph. So Jonas in a two eyepiece needed setup right now, unless he can burn some pieces off to the side, which he will some do. Some burns and boom, Tetris for Jonas. Joseph already have, having scored a couple. Yeah, not a little unfriendly RNG right there for Joseph's screen. But Jonas feeling just fine right yeah. now. Beautiful setup, there it is. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. And Joseph has one too. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. No trouble early on here. Yeah, I had to do a little micro adjustment. Lost Dash for us just a little second there, but he's okay. Long bar's coming. Boom. Oh, Sir Joseph. Neck and neck. Beautiful tuck right there from Jonas, but Jonas, Jonas needs playing that high. Long piece. Boom. Yeah. Tetris for Jonas. And he's going to get another one. Boom. Tetris for Jonas. But, you know. He's going to need a lot of those S's, but you know what? They're giving him a lot of those S's, and so he's actually Tetris ready again. Oh, not anymore, but there it is. Perfect timing. Keeping the right side a little bit clean so he has more room to slide the eyepiece down. Tetris for Jonas. 
And Jonas is caught up. Now he's in lead. Joseph doing a little bit of cleanup, but he's almost drilling down. Keeping it flat. And we've got a nice play field on both. All right. Nice tuck. Sets up that tuck, but... Ugh. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Mm, he probably should have put that all the way on the left, but doesn't matter. Gets another J piece just in time. So he doesn't have to play in an uncomfortable field. Jonas widening the lead. Ahead by about three now. Three Tetrises ahead. Joseph dumping pieces on the left. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. He's jo Jonas right now just looking for that J piece. Relying on that J. He's looking for the J piece. It's not coming. Right now he could put a Z piece in there just to clear some space out. Yeah. Still relying on it. Okay. It's not He'll coming. Find double. It is or not even a long showing piece up. Would help. Yeah, neither of them. Finally, the J piece to help him. Yeah, and he's going to get the triples. long piece. And unfortunately, it was a triple. He was one block shy of a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. So, so Jonas burned two triples there. Uh, but he's quite. he's got a quite comfortable lead. Might not hurt him too much in the long run. But we'll see if mm. Joseph can catch up. An unfortunate, but you know what? That T piece is going to slide snugly right in there and set up another boom, Tetris for Joseph. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Maintaining the lead, two Tetris is ahead. And what's really interesting is, be, you know, Joseph is scoring so high and he's playing so strong, but, you know, I feel like he plays very, very safe. And I think maybe it's because he has, he knows he has the hyper tapping there to help him at the higher levels. Right, he can, he can move pieces in ways others can't. But another thing I noticed about Joseph is, you know, back when we used to watch uh, Jonas in previous championships, he would do spins and tucks that no one else would do. But we were also seeing Joseph doing those as well. So it's almost like he's got Jonas's powers and, and then some in some respect. Mm -hmm. But what Jonas has is consistency and he's got experience. Yeah, and don't forget, this is not a situation here that Jonas is unfamiliar with. He came back from an 0-2 deficit against Harry in 2013. So, you know, he knows he can still win this, and that comes with experience. Oh, yeah, Joseph knows that these the RNG is now hurting him a little bit, so he had to set up some un uncomfortable situations for himself right now. All right, finally gets to that center hole right there. That's Boom, the important Tetris for part. Jonas. And so Jonas, Huge lead now, yeah. 100,000 points. 72% yes. Tetris rate. Nice tuck. Boom, Tetris for Jonas again. We're starting to see some great aggressive setups now. All right, still doing some clean, uh, clean play over there for Joseph. Boom, Joseph. Tetris for Joseph. And bad SP's timing. Forces him to drop it on the side like that. Going to force a two, two single cleanup. Boom, Tetris or Jonas. Really clean setup for Jonas now. This could be the game where he can come back. Yeah, if he can take this right now, I'm sure that'll add a lot of confidence to him right now. But he is running into He set himself up a tuck, but the tuck just never resolved itself. Never got the piece that he needed to slide in there. And now he's going for a row two Tetris. Oh, surprised we didn't see a little micro adjustment from Jonas there. All right, still has that set up on the right side. And there Not it too is. Dirty. Boom. Boom. And they are about right to about to transition. They're so close to that level. And 19. Jonas is about to transition first, which is another thing we're not used to seeing. That's true. Oh, beautiful micro adjustments there from Jonas. But Boom, Tetris unable for Joseph. to get the Tetris just yet. He's set up for it now, though. He's ready and he's transitioned with a nice clean play field. And boom, Tetris for Joseph, who also transitions. Nice clean play and field as well. No boom, trouble there. Tetris for Jonas. And we're into level 19, faster speeds. Yeah, but it's this speed all the way to level 29 now, yep. though. Hyper tapping may change the complexion of the match here. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And Jonas only about two and a half Tetris. Oh, now actually only about one and a half Tetris in the lead. Will Jonas maintain his aggression? Well, he's set up for some Tetrises right now. Actually, they both are. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Here we go. Yeah, Jonas can't build a lead against this kid right now. Joseph having to cover up as well. Ooh, awkward placement. He might be able to survive. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Opens up the well. And where's the long bar? There it is. Tetris. Boom. Tetris for Joseph. 
excellent survival skills. Yeah. And the gap is actually closing somewhat, like yep. 50,000 points, just a couple of Tetrises. Oh, but another burn necessary, and there it is. Oh, got Tetris it over on the side. Oh, right One before Tetris he got away. the square, but he got two Js. Two Js can and cover Tetris up those ready. square Boom, Tetris for Jonas, maintaining lead now. But Joseph hits it, the Tetris, narrowing it to one. No, back to two now. Oh, oh. he didn't drop it in. And oh, RNG is great. Gets the other long bar. Jonas has a set, has himself set up for a Tetris as well now. There it is, boom, Whoa, Tetris, Tetris for Jonas. Jonas. This is gonna be a duel to the death. They're playing excellently, both of them. 65% Tetris rate for Jonas. And 64% for Joseph. Both players right playing at max out pace at the same time. Burns right there for Jonas. Both play fields are gorgeous. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. We are neck and neck, ladies and gentlemen. And it's level 25 and 24, and both of them still sitting at 60% Tetris rates. Oh, beautiful pieces right now for Jonas. Actually, there we go, yes. Tetris, 64% still. Jonas back in the lead now. Oh, beautiful play right now. Oh, great stuff for Jonas. And he's going to get a Tetris at level 26. Level 26 Tetris. Jonas now with a wide lead of 80,000 points. So it's gonna come down to Joseph's ability to Tetris at a high level. Gonna need some cleanup here. There we go. There's a little bit of cleanup. Oh boy, things are dangerous for him. So he's got to clean now. Jonas he's got to clean, but he couldn't get the out. piece. Yeah, he didn't get the piece all the way over okay. there. He's got a hundred thousand lead. He has to count on Joe. But Joseph, he's been able to do it before. He's made it to level 32. It's all up to this right now. Jonas the staying pressure. alive and making it the Tetris could mean the victory here. Boom! Tetris for Joseph. Three more. The pressure is on the kid right now. Crazy build going on. Oh, he's going he, for the Tetris. He held out. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Can he's he do one it? Away. One he's and change. One, away. one and change will do it. Oh, and a long bar is up. it going to come? Where is it? Or is there going to be a drought? How is this going to play out? Oh, okay, he takes the double. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's set up now. He's still Just waiting. The Tetris 13 now. piece drought. 17 piece drought. There's the long the bar. Boom. There it is. Tetris Boom. for Joseph. And your. New Tetris World Champion, 16-year-old Joseph Saley has done it. He oh my is goodness. your new classic Tetris World Champion, taking it away from seven-time champion Jonas Neubauer, the young kid on the block. He has done it. Unprecedented results here. Joseph, 16 years old, picked it up after watching the videos on level YouTube. Level 31, level 32. A true prodigy. And oh the my emotions goodness. are coming out now. The emotions are coming, and you can see 16 years old, and without a game like Tetris, a 16 year old kid from California would never have an experience like this. Look, he is beside himself with emotion right now, and here comes his mom to congratulate him. His sister, mom, sister, it's Asian, I can't tell. Never mind. He is overcome with emotion. <laughs> he has slain the dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 Classic Tetris World Champion is Joseph Saley! Thank you so much. An absolutely incredible performance, Joseph. Try to put it into words. How does it feel to be the world champion? It's, a, it's absolutely a dream. I came into this tournament just to qualify. I didn't. Come on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Incredible, man. Incredible. You're the man. Would you like a second? Take a second, go, go hug your sister who's off camera right there. We'll switch positions right now. This feels so out of place to do, as I have the second place trophy to our runner-up, Jonas the Goat Neubauer. Yeah, you still have a trophy to add to your collection here, but this is 
very rarefied air for you. Only once before has this ever happened. What's going on in this body right now? Um, I, I, I'm feeling good. I feel like uh, the best I could do is play some, some good Tetris, put on a show for you guys. I hope I did that. Um, did he? That was spectacular. Uh, I'm, if Joseph can't speak for himself, I'm going to say that the kid played with pure heart, uh, the most clutch Tetris uh, that we've seen from, from anyone. He just really uh, had the ability, had, had the natural ability and let it shine uh, as bright as he could uh, in his first tournament. I can't say anything uh, that you guys aren't thinking right now, but what, a, what an exceptional performance and truly, truly an honor to uh, pass the torch to the new generation of uh, Tetris players. So, good game, Joseph. Jonas, of course, the big question here is, the last time this happened, Jonas Neubauer was champion for three, four consecutive times, maybe complacency set in, you lost the championship, then you went home and you said, maybe I'm going to call it, maybe this is it for my career, but then you got motivated, your wife Heather motivated you to come back, and then you won the championship several times again. Maybe too early to ask this, but we have to ask it anyway. Where do you see the future of Jonas Neubauer in this competition? Uh, I see myself here next year. There's... Um, you know, I, I, got a, I got a little bit swept right there, but... Uh, you got a lot swept, no offense. I got a little bit swept, <laughs> but I had a blast doing it, and uh, this has been my favorite year, and I can't wait for the after party. Uh, maybe not at a bar this time. Um, let's uh, let's get the champion involved. Uh, but uh, but yeah, no, that's there's no retirement anytime soon. I'm gonna shamelessly drill myself down the uh, seating because it's just too damn too much damn fun with this community. So I I love you guys for uh, for coming out and uh, yeah, just awesome, awesome. It has to be said, before we bring Joseph in, it has to be said, win or lose, Jonas Neubauer absolutely is the greatest ambassador for the Tetris community that has ever lived. Let's give him a huge round of applause. He is gracious in victory, and he is gracious in defeat.